Alright guys, so our 2016 Prius needs a new cabin air filter, so I will show you how to change that today. Um, I just got one off of eBay. Uh, pretty much, um, when it comes to auto parts, only a few companies in the entire world actually make auto parts. So, I got a China one, which will be pretty much what you're buying with a different name and a higher price tag. But, if you feel better about it, you can uh, do so. Alright guys, so we're just going to reach up here, open the glove box, then over here you can see this tab, just pull that out, the same on the other side, the glove box will drop. On this side, there's this piece, you see a little nipple here, just want to pop that off. Now it is loose, it basically just uh, rides on these little hinges, they go right over top of that, then all you do is it's a uh, you know this bit this plastic cover comes right off of here there's just these clips right here pinch there we go we just pinch them together this slides off your cabin air filter slides out uh, as you can see um, you know it's 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 pretty dirty so here is the new one which actually goes inside of the casing. So just pull this back a little bit on the one side and pop her out. And as you can see, my China one looks identical. And you just gotta make sure it's under these little clips here. And then, you know, straighten it out as best you can. All right guys, so once you have it how you like it, it looks pretty good for me. Uh, as you can see, the China one, is a little different this has a bar on it so it should be going the other direction so it is the same dimensions but it just these are going the wrong way which as you can see it's it's fully covered so it doesn't really matter that much it's not like this is a life or death situation this is just trying to catch some of the crap that is coming in so next time i go to buy one of these yeah if you can see how they're see how they're facing different directions there guys but honestly, uh, in a couple months, we'll be putting a new one in anyway because it calls for every 15,000 miles, I think it said. So honestly, next time I'll just make sure that I'm getting a different filter. But I'm happy with this. Uh, I'm completely fine with this. This is okay. As you guys can see, that says up. So when you're sliding, you just basically go right back in here and then slide this guy in. There it slid in and it is good. Now this will say up as well. See they have little, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's little nubs on there. So you just stick these little nubs in on that side and then this side you just push right in and you are good to go. Everything's all clipped in, everything's solid. Then basically you just take this glove box and see if I can show you guys. I don't have much light here, but these just go right onto those. Then you just take this, clip it back on, push it back up. So these will automatically, you don't have to do anything. These will, they're tapered. So automatically that's in. Now your glove box is back to normal. You're finished guys. So I hope this helped. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing an air filter shortly, as soon as I get one ordered in. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.